If you updated to iOS 26 public beta and tried all the new features, but you're not a fan of it and want to go back to the stable iOS 18 version, here's everything you need to watch. I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process to do this without data loss. Let's go. To downgrade to iOS 18 without losing your data, you can do it all with Rei Boot. This is a mature tool with over 10 years of experience in iOS system recovery, making it a trustworthy solution for users looking to repair their devices, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned iOS user. You can download it from the link below. After downloading Rei Boot, connect your iPhone to your computer. First, back up your data using Rei Boot. You can choose where to save the backup. It will do a full iPhone backup locally on your computer, with no risk of data leaks. All your photos, contacts, and other data will be included. The backup time depends on your storage size. Once the backup is complete, go back to the home page and start the downgrade process. Here, you'll see that iOS 18.5 is available to downgrade to. So let's do it. After downloading the official firmware, you can begin the downgrade process. Once your phone is back on iOS 18, Go to the Data Restore page and choose Restore from Computer. Now on your computer, begin restoring the data to your phone. Since the backup was created while running iOS 26, some manual modifications are necessary. Now, go to the folder where your backup is saved. Open the backup file. Scroll down and find the file called Info. Open it with Notepad, press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgraded from iOS 26, it should say 26. Change it into the version you downgraded to. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Once that's done, go back and restore the old backup to your phone will be OK. Once the restore is complete, your phone will be restored to its previous state. This time, all your apps, photos and other data will be restored, and your phone will be downgraded to the version you like. And that's it. Your iPhone is now back on iOS 18 with no data loss. If you want to learn how to downgrade using an IPSW file, we'll show you the steps, but please note, we're not responsible for its safety or stability. First, you need to back up your phone. You can do this on iTunes. Visit the IPSW.me website to locate the iOS files you want for your iPhone model. Then download the file and wait for the process to complete. After this, return to iTunes or Finder. Then hold the Shift key, click on Restore iPhone, and select the IPSW file you downloaded. Confirm the restoration and your iPhone will downgrade to the version you downloaded. After the downgrade, your phone is back to factory settings. Let's head to the data restore process. If you backed up your data with iCloud, then you can just log into your ID and restore it. If you backed up your data with iTunes while you were using iOS 26 and now your phone is back to iOS 18, some modifications are necessary. If your phone was not detected in iTunes, reconnect it. Hold down the Win plus R keys to open the Run dialog box and type in percent %user profile percent. Then go to Apple, Mobile Sync, and open the backup folder. The backup we created should be the most recent one based on the last modified time. Inside the folder, scroll down to the bottom and find info. Open it in Notepad, Press Ctrl and F to open the search bar and search for the word product. Not too far down, you'll see the product version. If you downgraded from iOS 26, it should say 26. Change it into the version you downgraded to. Tap Ctrl and S to save the file. Now we can go back to iTunes and start the restore process. We can see that your phone has backed to iOS 18. Click on Restore Backup and select the backup we just modified. iTunes will start the restore process and your iPhone will restart. 
Once the restore is complete, your phone will be restored to its previous state. And that's it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If this helped, like and subscribe for more insightful tips, or check out our other videos. See you next time.